Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Between Two Racks. I'm your host, Pat Kittredge, and joining me again today is our application specialist for power products, Nyron Karam. Nyron, thanks for tying your shoes today. Today, Nyron is going to be talking to us about UPS. Nyron, why would a brown delivery truck be important in the AV industry? Well, uh, Pat, unless it's delivering your AV products from Middle Atlantic. Um, uh, a UPS uh, is a uh, uninterruptible uh, power source or uninterruptible power supply. Um, uh, it's typically what the acronym stands for. Okay, so not United Parcel Service. Uh, most of the times not, okay. yes. Uh, not, 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 not in the AV space, uh, but it depends on what your job function is within AV. Um, yeah, yeah. You, you, might, you might prefer the United Parcel Service. <laughs> Uh, and uh, again, un- uninterruptible means you know uh, it provides you uh, backup power for a certain duration uh, to keep your system up and running. Using uh, a battery. Using a battery. That is correct. Okay, so then uh, explain to us a little bit further. You just gave us the, the brief uh, description of what a UPS is. It's not a delivery service. It's an un- un- uninterruptible power supply. Um, why is that important in an AV system to have have a UPS or UPSs? Uh, well, the foremost uh, reason is again for backup, uh, and, and not necessarily to uh, keep your system sustained for a long duration. Uh, it could just be to keep it up and running for a couple of seconds um, when the building goes over to generator, for example. Um, other uh, key reasons to have it is when you have that that blip in power, um, you can relate to you know a, a storm uh, in your home and you see your lights flicker. Um, you know those kinds of things do happen without a storm as well um, in certain uh, areas, and that would cause uh, really just nuisance uh, rebooting of, of device, you know, I think media players and, and, and such that, or even control systems that need to, um, you know, take anywhere between, you know, a minute to five minutes to completely reboot. Uh, so just to reduce that 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 nuisance of, of rebooting devices is, is one particular example of it. Okay. Um, a second example would be, uh, and, and this is actually more... Um, we're seeing this more and more in industry is really to just give uh, provide clean power to your system. Uh, you know, you have over and under voltage conditions uh, that occur throughout the day, um, regardless of if it's if it's outside on the utility or within the building with um, HVAC systems uh, turning on and off or any large motors turning on and off. And what the UPS does, it you know, aside from backing up power, it also uh, regulates the voltage. Um, uh, on it, so it'll take that voltage fluctuations uh, on the input and and give you a nice clean, you know, 120 volts, for example, in the, in the US application um, on your output. Awesome. I know we talked about 120 being the nominal voltage in the US on our over and under voltage video. If you check that one out, um, so you kind of uh, gave us a little a little bit of a, a taste of what devices should be uh, backed up on the UPS media players. Um, things like that. Is there any any other pieces of equipment that you know we at Middle Atlantic recommend you have on on a UPS? Um, um, if you have a refrigerator that stores beer, you'd want that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually wouldn't recommend uh, putting a refrigerator on a UPS. Um, you usually don't want to put anything with a motor on a UPS. So um, bad, advice. bad advice. Yes. Uh, although I would do it myself, to be honest. Um, you don't want to keep those beers nice and cold, nice and chilled. Uh, but, you know, it really depends on the experience. Um, you know, uh, definitely your control system um, in your boardroom and wherever else, um, your servers, um, uh, even uh, media streaming devices for whether it's a menu board or a kiosk or, you know, wh- whatever you want to keep up and run in um, regardless of, of any minute, um, you know, uh, power disruption, um, as well as, you know, um, equipment that are sensitive to voltage fluctuation, you know, I mean, AV system can be very expensive. Um, so you have a lot of sensitive and expensive equipment that a UPS is really, you know, a good insurance policy to, to protect them. Okay. Yeah. So I, I would agree. It's, it's, it's that insurance policy for those, uh, you know, just in case moments where power goes out and, and uh, you know, you, you mentioned servers, like, 
you know, financial institutions, you know, you can't have, you can't have those servers go down or a huge meeting in a boardroom. So, uh, definitely makes sense. And, um, I would also plug that we, we at Middle Atlantic have a, uh, a great white paper, um, five things to consider when, when selecting a UPS, um, make it re- nice and simple for you. Five things tells you types of equipment that should be backed up and things that, you know, maybe, maybe don't need to definitely, uh, the beer fridge. So, well, Nyron, thanks again for joining. This is uh, another episode of Between Two Racks. And as the influencers say these days, don't forget to like, subscribe, and actually comment. Um, we like to hear some topics from, from you, our audience, if we have, if we have any audience out there uh, about topics that you'd like to hear us discuss. See you next time.